Hey there, Saki here from Saki Tech. In today's video, I will be sharing top five fantastic apps for your Android smartphone that you will absolutely adore. This will be part one of this video series of top Android apps series. And of course, there will be more. All links to the sequel videos will be added to the description below as they are produced. Anyway, let's dive in and discover some top level apps. All right, so the first app I wanna talk about is called Photo Studio Pro. Basically, this is a photo editing application that can do a lot of things. So let me launch this application and show you quickly what it can do very briefly. But I do wanna let you know that you can either buy this thing for $5, $4.99, or you can download the free version with some limitations. And of course, the whole point of getting a app with limitations is to see if you like it so you can get the full version. So let's quickly browse to my gallery over here and let's just pick a, uh, pick a uh, picture. Let's pick this picture right here. And a couple things I wanna show you guys what you can do with this thing is, uh, the one thing I really like is something called the pip effects. Now you can add text, you can add filters, and you can add effects, no problem, okay? You can add all kinds of nice effects. For example, this one right here, okay? Uh, let's just say we would like to save this, but uh, the pip effects are what really wanted me to buy this application. So if I go to the pip effects, uh, let's see, let's say I wanna use something like this. And as you can see, as I tap on these things, some really amazing things start to happen. There we go. So I can even drag this thing around, you know, the, the, the picture within the actual effect. I can tap this thing over here. I can tap this thing over here. And you can apply this to, you know, anything. You can do it to cars like this one. You can do it to human beings. You can do it to animals and just play around and create these unique effects. So that's one thing. But if I scroll through here, you can see all the different options that you have. You have frames. So if I go into the frames, I can add some gorgeous frames uh, to this picture if I want to. I can change the intensity of the frame using the dialer down here, okay? And then I can click yes. Now we have a frame. You can add stickers, you can do blending, you can do painting, you can add shapes. You can even create mirror effects. And just to give you an idea, here's what stickers look like. So these are the kind of things you can do to your pictures. So when you tap on stickers, all these things come up and you can just pick one of these and they're just gonna go somewhere on the picture and you can put this anywhere that you want. And of course you can add multiple of these stickers. You can download even more, more stickers. As you can see, it's making a recommendation right here for me to download all these other stickers that are available. So just close this out. Uh, but if I go back in here, this is just a basic idea of everything that you can in fact use as a sticker. So the possibilities of creating something very special, something very unique, or something fun that you wanna share with your buddies uh, is very, very possible with this application. So go grab it right now and let's move on to the next application. All right, so the next app I wanna talk about is called the Cam Scanner. This is a scanning software. It can scan documents, uh, paperwork, receipts, and then it saves them to your phone electronically. So let me do a quick demonstration. I got the full version for $2, uh, but you can get the free version to test drive for free. And if you like it, then upgrade. So let's go into Cam Scanner. So when you launch it, this is the screen you're gonna see. And to scan a document, you tap the camera button, and then it's gonna ask for access. You allow that, and then you go in there. And let me just show you the virtual example that they have in the app to show you exactly what happens. So all you do is normally you tap the camera button to take a picture when you're looking at a document via the screen. And this is what it looks like. So that's the document. You take a picture, after you take the picture, this screen comes up, and from here you can resize the document and change its dimensions as you please. You can even rotate documents if you want a different orientation, and you can even make them a little bit larger. So you can scan, you can just elect to keep the entire photo, or you can manually just resize it to the piece of paper. Okay, just like that. And when you're ready, you click this, and it's gonna crop the image and transform it to a real document. From here, I'm not gonna go into the details, but you have a lot of options. You can actually lighten the document, darken the document, you can do some magic color stuff, you can turn it into a gray mode if it's colored, and you can do all these things. And when you're ready, when your editing is complete, you just click this button, and then you're good to go. The document gets saved into your file folder. And as you can see, 
Uh, it's a PDF file now, and from here you can just share this anywhere you want, and that's the best thing. So here's the PDF file you can share, or you can share it as an image. If I tap the image, it's going to ask you where do you want to send it, and you can use any medium to send this uh, image for sharing purposes. So this is a fantastic tool for somebody that is looking to electronify a lot of the things that you have, documents, receipts, uh, lecture notes. Now one thing I forgot to tell you about this application is it is able to extract text from an image. So if you had a lecture and your teacher was writing something on the whiteboard and if you took a picture with this, it's going to extract that text from the whiteboard and turn it into an electronic document. And also you can do printing and faxing using this application. So if this is a functionality you're looking for, uh, go ahead and grab this application. Let's move on to the next app. All right, so the next app is called Smart Tools Pro. And you can have this app for free with ads. Now, I'm not going to go and show you everything, but as you can see, you have things like a ruler, okay, which is a very nice ruler. You can calibrate the ruler. Uh, you have a level, right? You have a speed meter. So if you're in the car and you're driving, it can actually tell you how fast you're going. But just out of curiosity, let me show you the, uh, the speedometer that shows the speed when you're in the car. So if you were driving, this would using your GPS signal, show you how, how fast your car is going. Not very bad, it looks really nice actually. Uh, it adds some tech into your car. Uh, you have a location sensor, a compass, a speed gun, a mirror, metal detector. You even have a, a converter, okay? So you can convert one currency to another currency or you can go in and you can convert uh, length, area, volume, any metric that you desire. And basically this application is a tool wonderland. Okay, so uh, if you want to get it, if you are looking for these tools, uh, go grab it. Now, as you can see, it even has a night vision, a thermometer, a dog whistler, a polygraph, which is a light detector test. So all these things can be found in this application. Anyway, let's move on to the next application. Now, the next application is something I've never seen before. Nothing, nothing quite like it. It's a widget maker, uh, but you can create any widget you want. Basically, you can either use uh, pre-built widgets like these guys over here, or you can go in and the app will give you a whiteboard or a blackboard and you can fill it with whatever you want. Okay, so here's another example of some of the widgets you can use uh, with this application. And uh, here's the app. The app is called Zuper Widget Pro. So you download the application and then what you do is, here's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to go over, let me just create a brand new page over here, just for demonstration. And then you go into the widgets screen. So here's the widgets. And then you go to Zuper uh, Widget Pro. You tap it and you pick a size that you want. Let's just go with um, a five by two. Then you drop it on the screen anywhere you want. And then what you wanna do is you wanna tap to start. And from here, you can start with an empty screen, which I'm gonna skip right now because that's, that's gonna take a long time or you can use the built-in widgets. So if I go to the built-in widgets, you have all these various things over here you can use. Um, let's just try this one. And then you can change the size if you want, even the color. So let's just change the size for now. Then you go back out and your widget is ready within seconds. There we go, looks fantastic, okay? So all these things right here were built in to the Zuper widget. And I didn't want to create one of my own because it takes a lot of time on camera, but you can download this thing. There's a free version and there's a full version, but the full version is going to cost you $3. But the free one for now, you can just get it and you can play with it. If you like it, you can go on to the next step. So let's move on to the final app. The final app is called the battery. So basically the only reason I recommend this one is because once I downloaded this, well, first of all, let me show you the app. Uh, the app is right here. You go in. Very basic app, it tells you, it's free by the way, but it comes with ads. So basically every time you launch the app, you see one ad, then you exit out and you're done. But basically it tells you the percentage, how, much, how many hours are left for the battery to die based on your current use. And if you swipe over, it gives you the temperature of your battery, the voltage being used right now, the health of your battery, uh, the technology used for it, and a couple other things you can go in here. But that's not the reason I downloaded this application. This is why I like it. When you go into your widgets, you can actually expand this widget and get a quick view of all those things that I saw within the application. Again, this thing is free. When it's here, there's no advertisements. You only see an ad when you launch the application 
otherwise it's completely free so i would just go grab it and that's the end of the video make sure to subscribe to saki tech for more top five app and other tech videos and of course give this video a thumbs up share it with your family and friends and you have a fantastic day